Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to discuss about optimized auto scaling. This is one of the interview question. What is auto scaling? What are the different types of auto scaling? What is optimized auto scaling? What is the importance of auto scaling? These are the few sample interview questions around this topic. Auto scaling is also one of the important feature in performance optimization and also cost saving in Databricks development. Let us understand what is auto scaling. Auto scaling is one of the feature provided by Databricks to choose or to change the number of worker nodes dynamically. While creating the cluster, we used to enable auto scaling for this feature. And also we need to fix the range of number, minimum and maximum number. So depending on the workload, while executing some application, Databricks will choose the number of workers according to the workload. Let's say we have given the range 2 to 8. Then depending on the work, uh, workload, Databricks can choose the number of worker nodes either 2 or 8 or anything between them. So auto scaling is one of the future based on which Databricks can choose number of worker nodes dynamically depending on the workload. What are the different types of uh, auto scaling? There are two different types of auto scaling. One is optimized, another one is standard. And coming to cluster type uh, types in Databricks, we have two different cluster types. One is automated or job cluster. Another one, all purpose or interactive cluster. There are two different types of clusters. And coming to job or automated cluster, always optimized auto scaling technique would be applied. And Coming to interactive or all-purpose cluster, the auto-scaling method would be depending on the environment. While creating the Databricks, if we choose standard pricing tier, then standard auto-scaling would be applicable for that, for that environment. While creating Databricks environment, if we go with premium pricing tier, then optimized auto-scaling would be applicable for that environment. Now let us uh, understand what is the difference between optimized and standard auto scaling. In optimized auto scaling, Databricks can scale up the number of worker nodes from minimum to maximum in two steps. Let's say we have chosen the range 8 to 64 in our cluster creation. And depending on the workload, Databricks can reach the maximum number of workers that is 64 in two steps starting from 8. So maybe it can jump directly to 32, then immediately it can reach maximum 64. So it can scale up from minimum to maximum in two steps. So it can boost the performance in this way. Coming to standard, it will exponentially increase the number of worker nodes depending on the workload. Even though we are going to get a very complex work, 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 workload, still Databricks will start adding nodes exponentially. So we are losing some performance in this approach. And also coming to optimized auto scaling, if Databricks engine forecast some less workload in some time, then it will start reducing the number of worker nodes. But that is not applicable in standard worker node. And in the standard worker node, always it starts with eight number of nodes. And this parameter is configurable using spark.databricks.autoscaling.standard first step up. Here we can give even two or four, which means when it starts, you know, it will start adding those many number of nodes. And coming to job cluster, in optimized, in, op, uh, in job cluster, we will always use optimized, even though it is a standard or premium pricing tier. So coming to job cluster, if if the cluster is underutilized for 40 seconds, then it will start scaling down, which means it will start saving our cost. But coming to standard, it will start uh, scaling down only if the cluster is ideal for some time. And also it is underutilized for last 10 minutes. So let's say here it's only 40 seconds and in standard it is 10 minutes, which means approximately 9 minutes it would be wasting our money. And in the optimized auto scaling for all purpose clusters, that is interactive clusters, it will scale down the number of worker nodes if it is underutilized for 
150 seconds. So overall we can say using optimized auto scaling, you know, we can aggressively change the number of worker nodes depending on the worker load, de depending on the workload. Coming to standard, it's exponential manner. So even though we have very complex workload or we are going to get less workload, it will exponentially increase or decrease the number of worker nodes in standard. So that is the main difference and it plays important role in performance optimization and also cost saving. I hope you understood what is auto scaling, what are the different types and what is the difference between optimized and standard auto scaling. If you like this content of this video, please like and comment. Please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.